Welcome back to Infigam, my dear friends. In this video, we will be solving one very very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate cube root of 1 plus 4th root of 8 plus 24 over square root 5 minus 2. So let's get started by considering expression equal to e. Now I will consider 4th root equal to x. So our expression we can write cube root of 1 plus x. Let's calculate x separately. x will be equal to 4th root of 8 plus 24 over square root 5 minus 2. Now we will rationalize our denominator. So I will multiply root 5 plus 2 in the denominator and in the numerator. So denominator will give us a plus b times a minus b form where we will be writing difference of two squares a square minus b square. So I can write root 5 whole square minus 2 whole square in the denominator which will be equal to 5 minus 4 which is 1. So I can write x here equal to 4th root of 8 plus 24 times root 5 plus 2. Or we can write 4th root of 8 plus 24 root 5 plus 48. 24 times 2 is 48. This is our x, which we can write 4th root of 8 plus 48 is 56 plus 24 is square root 5. Now we can consider fourth root as square root and then square root. And we'll be writing 56 plus 24 square root 5. Or we can write square root of square root. 56 we will split 36 plus 20. And then we can write 2 times 2 root 5 times 6 as 24 root 5. Now we will be writing square root of square root 36 is 6 square 20 is 2 root 5 whole square and then we have 2 times 6 times 2 square root 5. So this is a square plus b square plus 2ab as our radicand which we can write a plus b whole square. So it is 6 plus 2 root 5 whole square. So I can write x will be equal to 4th root which is a square root of a square root 6 plus 2 root 5 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. We can write x equal to the square root of 6 plus 2 square root 5. Now again we can split 6 as we can write 5 plus 1 and then we have 2 root 5. Now 5 can be written as a square root 5 whole square. 1 we can write 1 whole square and then we have 2 times root 5 times 1. So a square plus b square plus 2ab, we can write square root of 
square root 5 plus 1 whole square. Again, we can cancel square root with a square. So, our x value will become square root 5 plus 1. Now, we will calculate expression E. So, I can write E will be equal to cube root of 1 plus x which is equal to cube root of 1 plus root 5 plus 1 or this is equal to cube root of root 5 plus 2. This is our expression E. Now we will consider cubing both sides and we can use Simon's favorite factoring trick. So I will consider cubing both sides. Cube root and cube will be cancelled out. We will write E cube equal to root 5 plus 2. Now I will multiply both sides by 8. So 8 E cube equal to 8 times root 5 plus 2. Now 8 can be written as 2 cube. E cube equal to 8 root 5 plus 16. Now in LHS we can write 2 E whole cube equal to 8 root 5 plus 16. Let us write here 2 E whole cube equal to 8 root 5 plus 16. Now we will split 8 as 5 plus 3. So we can write 5 root 5 plus 3 root 5. And 16 we can write 15 plus 1. Now 5 root 5 can be written as root 5 whole cube. The last term 1 we can write 1 whole cube. Then the second last term 15 we can write 3 times root 5 is square times 1. 3 times root 5 is square is 5 which is 15. And second term 3 root 5 we can write 3 times root 5 times 1 square. If I will write algebraic formula a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square which is our RHS we can write a plus b whole cube. So I can write left hand side 2e whole cube. So 2e whole cube will be equal to root 5 plus 1 whole cube. Now I will take cube root both sides. So cube and cube root will be cancelled out from both sides for real values of e. So I can write 2e will be equal to square root 5 plus 1. Let's divide both sides by 2. We will get our answer. Expression value will become root 5 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself.